Alright, welcome back to jQuery's God series part 2. In this series, uh, as I promised, we are going to st start everything from the scratch and if you remember what we did in the previous tutorial was uh, render the whole grid using a jQuery and a web service and we use a pure HTML for that. So I hope you remember the functionality and this crazy animation still are there, right? So this is what we did. So what are we going to do today? We are not going to implement this whole functionality, but we'll go step by step. Now, let's talk about when we go step by step, what can we do? Over here you can see the structure is um, all I'm having is kind of a collection. I'm having a uh, ID, I am having a name, I'm having the level of expertise and what level that guy is capable of doing a task right so I got four fields so what can I do in order to like you know testify and do the things correctly and smoothly so first thing I'll go to my backend as you can see I have my DB at which uh, I'm not looking right now so what I'll do is first I'll create a class alright I'll call that class as an employee alright now within this class the four fields which I require I'll put their names in it alright so my model is ready model is something like you know it's kind of a container it holds the data for you right so now this is done right and now next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a WCF I'm sorry not WCF a normal web service a ASMX file in which I will write a function alright the function will be a list of employee an employee you saw already it's uh, it's available in the model this is just a plan so you just focus how uh, you get started and how you deliver the things right so I'm saying get dummy employees so what I'll do is I'll just do the basic C sharp code I'll just create a new list of employees I'll hit the guys and I'll do everything like you know I'll fill in expertise I'll fill IDs I'll fill level I fill their name these are my colleagues and whatever blah 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 Right, so I got a bunch of uh, dummy data to play with, to experiment with. If my dummy data works nice with jQuery, then I can bring in the database, right? So, the point is, right now, if I'm able to generate a data from a normal collection, I can get it from the DB as well. So, this is my just a testing point, so I don't need to touch my DB right now, right? So, we are dealing with collections right now so I have a method inside my data service ASMX file which returns a list of employees and already so I mean anyone can make this thing it's very simple alright and I'm just giving the name to a method called as get dummy employee alright because this is what I'm gonna use in the jQuery so our backend is ready we are ready with our data alright so we are ready with that data now let's move to the design if you check out the design this is what I have I got a parent div inside of which I got one more div in which I'm going to do something like this like this I hope you can see it this is the structure which I'm showing you right now I have got a container I got a data container inside of which I'm gonna draw a table and inside of which I'm gonna fill all the data which comes from my dummy employee method right so let's see how can we do that. I hope you got the structure. This is the only part we are focusing on, right? And this is what we're gonna fill using a jQuery. So let's see how can we do that. I hope so far so good. So as you can see, this is my normal HTML. I have a class called as container instead of which I got a data container for which I have written a CSS, which is pretty simple margin zero px to get the whole thing into the center. I'm assigning a width as 500 px. I'm giving padding to get more space, look nice, and simply attaching a border. So very basic CSS, no biggie, you know. And the same goes with a child container, which you see is a green in color. Where is that? Yeah, this is a green in color, and just uh, simply assigning a border, and that's all, right? So now <coughs> I'm going to enable my JavaScript. I mean, enjoy jQuery, right? So that that was a basic. Uh, you got the idea how you do it, right? Now, the thing is, uh, look at the structure. Uh, An important thing: the rules for doing this is very simple. In your code behind, there should be a zero line of code. All right, 
that's the requirement everything should be on your ASPX page and your WC I'm sorry your web service whatever you can do it using WCF service as well no big deal alright so as soon as your page hits right first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna call a method that method is going to call your W I'm sorry your web service and web service will return a JSON data just listen to the flow it will return a JSON data we will pass that data and after passing the data we get a collection from the I mean in terms of a JSON and we gonna pass that collection and we will try to render a table which will look something like this right just I enabled the JavaScript line and everything was like up and running right so what did I do <coughs> First of all, you need to know the, uh, the remember the ID and class. So as you know, this is a container which we are not going to use, but this is the ID we are going to use a lot. So data container is a name, right? So whenever I'm loading my page for the first time, I want the HTML to be clear. I don't want any data inside. That is the first thing. And uh, as I mentioned, as the document gets loaded, your first function load employee gets fired when your page gets loaded completely you making a Ajax call okay and this Ajax call through which you're going to load the data and you're going to do everything so what this function does this function comes in and clear the HTML of the container in which you're going to load the data then it prepares the Ajax call if you look at the Ajax call very carefully it tells you okay uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a post but where I'm gonna do the post if that 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 shows you a location where are you going to do the post so as you can see the path I have given is data engine inside of which I got data service inside of which I need to write down a name of my method which is get dummy employee then I got a parameter as data in case if I'm passing any parameters then I'm supposed to supply a parameter in future definitely uh, in the continuation series will be passing a parameters but still in order to get give you a preview you can see something like this you're passing a parameter right so this is how a how you pause the parameter but don't worry that's pretty easy then the content type the content type you are sending over there as the JSON right and the returning what you're gonna get is a JSON right so these four lines makes a call alright and if you get a success then jQuery returns an object within this object you hold your data alright so this is a place where you can get the data if you look at the structure I mean like uh, how can I show you one second F12 if my firebug is on and get me net and let me refresh alright so get as you saw excuse me can I damn it why I can't move anything around okay so as you can see I'm making a call to a data service asmx dot get dummy employee and you see there's a response right the response always come into the D object that's what they say inside of which you get an array inside of array if you open up you will see your data this is what you are getting from the backend from the service when you're making a call to a stupid service let me open that service for you the first record contains a jQuery right so this is the service has opened the first record this is a first record which is present at the zeros index this should be the second record alright so let's check it out and if you see this is zero this is one you can see right the structure is there it gives you a kind of a wrapper right? and this whole thing is present within D object if you are good at accessing the D object then you can get the data out of it right so that's what we have done here what we have done here is this is a message object you get in return right? now let's go back to the plan what are you going to do now you have the data in your I mean in your hand all you have to do is first uh, create a header as you can see this is a structure of our table right so this is an ID this is a name this is an expert this is a level so these are the four headers you need to create first so let's think in terms of pure HTML right now put your head into the level where you're going to draw a HTML 
Now drawing an HTML is very simple. If I give you a task that do give me a table and this is the headers should be present and I want some dummy data. So what you do is you'll start creating a table like this. You'll create a temporary holder variable and service. You start writing an HTML. You say, all right, I'm going to create a table, right? Then inside of which you're going to draw a first row. First row in which you're going to set up your header. Then you say, I'm going to say a 3R inside of a TR. I'll have my TDs, which is nothing but ID. Then I got name. Then I got expertise and I got level, right? So this line makes my this area clear. Once again, let me just select and show you why I can't touch the things. Crap. Anyways, but you got the idea, right? This first row, this first row gets drawn automatically. All right. And then, as I mentioned, now we are going to draw a rest of the structure. Now, a rest in order to do a rest of the structure is very simple. Just create one TR, just loop through, put the TD values in it, and that's it. But apart from that, you need to have a value from message.d. So jQuery has a very powerful function called as $.each. Once you enable, I mean use this function, you can use this function's value very simply using a this object. And now I know, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to append simply uh, HTML. Table is equal to table plus. I'm going to create a TR on the fly. Alright, in so which I'll be having an ID. ID will contain the data of ID in order to access. Now, please remember this ID. What you see is is present over here, which is nothing but a part of this employee. This object, this property, I'm trying to access. If you write wrong value here, if you write yeah, like you know one, and then you go refresh. Alright, then ID won't show up. You see the ID won't show up because it doesn't find the property right so you need to be very careful while assigning those values so your TD is set up for name for expertise level everything is done in the end you close TR and when everything happens in the end you close the table so this is kind of a for loop in which you are trying to iterate this whole data right this whole data and once that is ready next thing what you do is you say hey jQuery find the uh, div which has a name called as a data container so this is the data container inside of which I want you to append the content which I have just formed there's nothing but a pure HTML which is nothing but a table which we have planned earlier we had a plan that this is what we are going to drop inside of this container so this guy is completely ready and now let's make a hit right so this is what I'm gonna do and let's hit refresh as soon as I hit refresh it starts to working fine alright so this is the first part alright and now let's go quickly and do something crazy alright so I'm gonna apply a odd color I'm gonna apply even color I'm gonna apply a color to header so everything looks perfect so as you can see I got my alternating color I got my head color and everything is ready as expected and let's make one more final change because I don't like the table to be you know uh, so I want something to be done style is equal to I'll see with colon hundred percent hundred percent and then semicolon and if I come and refresh the table expands yes it expands and it looks pretty nice right so I hope you like this tutorial in this we are not using any paging sorting just a basic HTML layout just we created on the fly and you saw it right uh, if you like the video then please subscribe thank you for watching